What's up guys, Awesome Nurture here back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok map here at our house. So just some updates from the last episode. So it's over here, I guess we're kind of dark here. Let's gamma up a little bit. There we go. So we have our greenhouse over here as you saw last time. So I got all the compost and fertilizer going. So we got enough to grow plants. So we are all whoa, grown up now here so the thing doesn't escape. So we do have vegetables and fruits now growing up there and we have this dung beetle still not producing anything. I've tried all sorts of different things on claiming, reclaiming, um, putting on wander, off wander, or putting it off wander then back on wander again and trying. Nothing's happening. I can't get anything to work on this one or the other one as well. So they're kind of useless but we got that. Um, I did tame some new dinos. At least, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't show these, but I got the two, these two stegos. So one was, or they're both right outside my base. So I just tamed them up real quick while we were out there. Um, I think that's it for that stuff. Anything over here new? Um, I got a pair, so I don't remember if that was new. Again, I can't remember anything that I've done. I have horrible memory with that. Um, so yeah, that stuff is, or those things are new there that I've tamed up in the off time. Still all my stuff down there. Uh, metal cooking up in the furn or industrial forge and then the base I'm getting metal. I just need some mini paste now to be able to turn my um, workshop into metal. And then over here I build a taming pin which I do have a pretty high level dodicarus that was wandering outside the base that I put in there but I built the octagon shape taming pin once again over in this corner just to use up some space and so we got that going on there the tame but today I want to tame or try to work on taming a griffin so we're going to be flying over in this direction to the mountain right over here that has griffins there are two of them I hope I don't die um, I don't feel very confident about this but I'm going to try and set up a trap with behemoth gates so on me I have um, 10 behemoth gates. I have the doors for some reason that I don't know why because I don't need the doors But I got behemoth gates. So I'm gonna set up a little like uh, you know Framework type thing to try and chase it have it chase me into And I'm hopefully going to get a griffin tamed up. So I'm gonna set it up probably Right over in here somewhere somewhere where there's not a lot of Evil dinos which it looks like there's not too many in this area and that's where I'll probably try and tame it up um, so it's just right at the mountain over here. Let's see if we can see it real quick Because there's a, I think it's a 95. There's two of them over here So I'll probably try and kill the other one which I don't know is like I feel like I need my RG because it I've killed griffins with it before um, But I don't know how the trend on but I feel it the RG may be too slow. Yeah, I think it's that one right there Yeah, 95 griffin there so that's going to be what i try and tame i hope i have everything i need and i don't know what else it can do um i'm going to come over here and try and build this base and then once i get it all figured out and build or whatever i'll be back to um lure the griffin in so hopefully this doesn't go horribly long so i'll see you then Okay, so I got the trap all set up. I hope this works so much. So I just put a bunch of the behemoth gates down and so on this side I have a door that will not open and then I put the door on this side open here and so I'll just fly it in through here try and keep it on me and then just fly throughout this, this hole which hopefully it will not fit out I hope and I can fly around here and quickly um, shut the door hopefully so let's try and get its attention and get it to follow us I hope it doesn't like one shot us or something um, like I said I don't know exactly how griffins work with like aggravation and everything there we hit it once and now it's coming for us So let's lead it into our trap here, hopefully. I'm getting so nervous about this. I've never done this before. Okay, it's getting closer. Let's fly in through the door here. Let's make sure it comes in after us, and it is. Now let's get out and fly around. Oh, nope, it got out. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It got out. Okay, so that hole apparently they can fit through holes um, So let's try <laughs> and fly away. Let's get it to lose Interest on us And hopefully it won't just sit there and try and, do, and attack our base 
Hmm. So I gotta rethink this, so I'll figure something out and I'll be back. So I'll see you then. Okay, so we're trying this again. We'll go the opposite way. I replaced the door, so now it's pretty closed off. So I'm gonna try and fly through this little opening down here. We'll see if it can fly through there. I'm not exactly sure, but let's try it. So let's come over here and get the griffin's attention. If I can hit it. There we hit it. So let's get the fly over this way towards us. It just keeps attacking the Brano. Okay, the Brano's... Oh, that was a really good Brano. Okay, so the Griffin is after me now. So let's hope this works. I don't have a whole lot of stamina left. Come on, Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Come in the cage after me. Oh, snap. Okay, so I made it out there. Let's see, hopefully... Shoot. Okay, it was in there. Let's see if it's still in there. And it is still in there. So, okay, so hopefully we can get it tamed now and it won't break out yeah, somehow. So let's try and shoot it. There we go. So we got a bunch of trank darts here to tame it. So I'll have to see how long it takes to go down. I'll breathe back when it is down. There we go. It finally went down. So I'm down to 75 darts and I'm pretty sure I had a butt load. Um, so that's pretty surprising. So let's come over here. I'll go ahead and open up the door, hopefully. Oh, that went the wrong way. There we go. And so I'll grab my pteranodon kill this Brano so that way I have plenty of prime meat now. So I have all the prime meat now so I can unload it onto this griffin. I'm so glad I brought as many trank darts as I did because that took so many. Let's go ahead and put our gun away so we don't shoot anything by accident. Take a couple stacks of meat there and then we'll take a bunch of this prime meat and throw it on the griffin here. Hopefully it won't take too long. I don't know exactly you know how long griffins take stuff so I don't know but now we will let it tame up here so it looks like it's uh, it's got somewhat decent stats nothing amazing um, like I said I don't know much about the Griffins I just know they're in the game and they're pretty cool animals like you know mythical creatures and stuff so it'll be really cool to have one tamed up and everything but of course once it's done I'll then tear down all of the base here and everything and just carry it back with me good thing about being with S plus and everything so I'll let this tame up and I'll be right back and there we go it is all tamed up I don't know exactly what to call it though I don't know um, what names to call it but let's go ahead and before we leave or do anything let's go ahead and take up all of these items here because I will fly around and tr test out the Gryffindor or the Gryffindor I keep calling the Gryffindor um, I think you can, yeah, say ride it without a saddle, which is awesome that you can do that. So it'll take you off, follow. I'll take down all of these pillar or doors, I guess. And there we go. So we, this is so awesome. I can't believe I finally got a griffin. That's so cool. And it's 142. It had all the levels possible. So of course it was a 90 or 95. Wow. I don't know what's making that noise, if it's the griffin or... I don't know what it is. Okay, so there's its landing. Let's see if we can pick stuff up with it. Of course we can attack and everything. Let's go and attack to get some levels put onto it. There it goes, no 85. There we got some meat on it, so it can now have some meat. And now let's put it on some levels here. So definitely we'll have to pump some health. Goes up pretty high. Some weight. Whoa, that weight made a weird noise. Definitely some stamina. Get it above a thousand. Then we'll do some melee damage. Which looks pretty good too. Oh my gosh, you're making so many weird noises. Oops. Let's go into K mode and look at it. Oh, you don't make any sounds. Oh, there's a car no. Better get out of that before the carno comes over and attacks us. Let's attack it. Yep, we're getting our Griffin, Griffin tested out today. Okay, let's go ahead and 
pump more stats on. I like this how it makes like its feet on the ground. Add more health to it just to get its health pumped up then later on we can worry about its melee damage with the rest of the points after we get it over 10,000. So he's super bloody so I have to take it. Let's see do I have any other moves? So I'm pressing the C which usually is the roll. Okay. Okay, so to do the fly thing, it's just their f sped up thing, like, you know, for running and everything. You just fly up as high as you want, and then you just fly straight down, holding it at the same time, and it does that. And I assume if there's a dino, it'll, like, land on it and try and kill it. I want to see if we can find something that's not a Bronto to do this to. Uh, let's fly over here real quick. I do see the Dodicris here. I guess we'll try it on that. Okay, we'll go up and come straight down on. Um, do I have to do a land a a attack of some sort? Because I don't know why it's not like doing the attack. No. Um, I guess I'll have to figure out what I'm supposed to do. For that I don't know I don't know why it's not doing anything so I have to find this so let's go back to base real quick so let's go pteranodon let's fly back to base okay so I have the griffin over here and I've just kind of been trying to let it heal up a little bit it's almost halfway or about there healed up so let's go ahead and take it fly now god I love the way it looks so much I was trying to look at the stats with the RG let's go ahead and look at its stats real quick um, it doesn't look that much different compared to the RG, except for the movement speed is going to be much higher. Um, let's see if I can land it down here. It is harder to f yep, see the fly than the RG is. Let's come around for another circle to it. Let's aim a little higher and land. And then you don't get thrown off immediately. So let's check the RG here. So yeah, the movement speed is only at um, 100, which so that makes the Griffin better. But really, like I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the health higher because I think this RG's maxed out by now. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the health, you know, to 10,000 where the RG was not able to. But I otherwise I don't know if any of the stats are really that much better. Um, because the weight, I won't put as much weight because I have the RG, you know, to carry a bunch of weight. So I'll be able to move those points. So may... What? Are you making noise in here, little Jerboa? I don't know. It's make, something just made a weird sound. And I assume it was that thing warning of a storm, but I don't know how you tell a storm coming. Oh, and I put this egg in poop. I don't know if I showed it last time too, but it you know collect some things some terrible I don't know it just collects random eggs but let's go fly now I want to fly over this direction because I've hardly went over this way I have went a little of course I flew all the way around the map but it does I think it is still a storm I think that Jerboa was right let's I'm gonna fly over and get this drop but I want to fly over to the big green pasture area over this way over to where like that lighthouse type structure is um, so I'm going to fly over there, I'll probably, uh, it's getting so dark and weird here, um, but I'll fly over in that area and once I get over I'll bring it back. I'm just going to kind of explore and just look around and see what all there is over in that area because I have yet to really explore that area since we've made it to the, oh snap. Oh gosh, I thought I heard something and it was a terror bird. So dang you terror birds. Ooh, we can go and fill our canteen. But I'll, once I get over there, I will bring it back. Okay, so I've made it over here and of course it's all nice and raining and everything because that's just how we love it. All nice and rainy. Um, but just, yeah, flying around the grasslands, there's, I believe that's a Uteranus or whatever it's called there. Let's see, we've got the weird, like, I don't know what you'd call this. I'd say like a bowl. Or like a hand coming out of the ground. Up here. I've never been up here seeing what this looks like. Oh, it just looks like a bunch of different like ground pillars. Sticking up through the ground. It's kind of cool. There's a nice bridge there. That's kind of cool. 
I like that. I like the way it looks right in here. See, there's a bridge right there that you can just walk across. Uh, then we got some stream coming down over here. It's got nice streams everywhere. I wish it wasn't so uh, like or rainy and foggy and stuff. I can't really see much of anything. Ooh, we got some ruins down here. That's cool. Explore the ruins. Ooh, there's another bridge right there. Got some nice waterfalls. That looks like a cave right there. Let's go in the cave. See if there's anything dangerous in here. Oh, it looks nice in here. Nope, just a nice water supply and just a little flat land area. That's kind of cool. Oh, come on. Griffin's not the best at flying. I'd like to find a unicorn because I really, I li really like the horses and I. Like I said, I'd like to find the unicorn. I've never seen a unicorn in my games before, so it'd be really cool to see one for once. Ooh, there's a horse and it's all white. Is it a unicorn? Could it be the unicorn right here that we found? Male unicorn? Oh my gosh, right. I can't believe it. Just instantly. Oh gosh, and I just hit the wrong button. I don't know what you can pick up with. Because I thought you, by what I heard, you could pick up anything that a um, RG can pick up but I've tried other things and can't pick up anything so oh, here's like the farm so here ooh, there's a whatever those things are allosauruses oh I saw that as like plants never had an allosaurus it'd be cool to get one but this is where you can see the plants in the ground right there which I'm sure you've seen our uh, the game before oh it doesn't say well but yeah, there's different plants and stuff growing around right in there. Of course, there's always a lot of gigas and stuff that like to spawn over here by what I've seen. Um, but let's come over and look at the lighthouse, which I believe I stopped by originally on my fly around the map. But let's come back over and take another look at it. I think is cool. Of course, I don't know if you can go from the bottom all the way to the top. But I know you can get up into the top. Oh no, he's going for a landing. They're so weird, griffins, when they land. Oh, there's this cool area down over here, too. Looks like someone threw a bunch of pennies. Like, this lighthouse was like a wishing well, and they threw him off the lighthouse and landed. It's got all the pennies now and stuff laying on the ground. But I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. It's probably real short, just, you know, taming up a griffin and checking it out. Again, I still don't know what it can do, because I keep trying to pick up stuff and can't pick up anything. Let's try this horse. Again, I'll click the right button this time. Nope scared it though uh, any small creatures around we can try to pick up I don't really see anything small to try and pick up around here but I guess that's gonna be it. of course we have the redwoods which I hate because they have all those things that hide in the trees and come out and attack you but that's gonna be it for this episode today so I hope you enjoyed again it is probably a short but we got our griffin all tamed up which is super cool and so I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to see more ARC videos and we'll see you next time.